right, welcome everybody. It's a bright sunny day. You might be able to see that, so we've got a lot of light. I'm gonna go ahead and come back to my chair position. That'll be a little bit easier to talk to you. All right, so welcome to another video. Thank you in advance for being here. Today we are going to work on some chair-based yoga exercises, stretches, flexibility, a little bit of balance, um, tiny bit of just breathing, meditation, just a more relaxing video today. So as always, a few things that you're gonna need, make sure that you have a sturdy chair, no wheels, uh, preferably no armrest, it's not gonna move on you. You have your workout area is clear of any tripping hazards. You have your sturdy shoes on if you prefer to have shoes on. I know some people like to do the yoga barefoot. Um, if that's your preference, that's fine. But if you need the shoes, go ahead and do that. And of course, as always, water. Very, very important. It's getting warmer now, so we wanna make sure that we're staying hydrated before, during, and after the workout and be sure that you're working at your own pace so you can always modify or just pass on any particular exercise or stretch that we do if it feels not appropriate for you you can always do that so work at the level that's right for you so with that being said uh last thing i'll say before we start is of course if you're watching on youtube please Feel free to subscribe, like the uh, video if you like it, comment if you would like to. Same thing on Facebook. If you have not already, make sure that you are liking and following the page. So that's it, let's go ahead and get going. All right, so we're gonna move back in our chair. And before we begin to do our stretches and our yoga poses, we're just gonna take a moment here to be aware of the breathing. So your back is relaxed. You can rest against the back of your chair if you like, or you can just lengthen the spine. It doesn't need to be too rigid. Just gently lengthening the spine. And now become aware of the inhale and the exhale. And you'll notice as you do this that you will naturally begin to deepen your breathing. Again, just being aware of it. Let it just deepen naturally. You don't have to force it or breathe deeper than you feel comfortable doing. Just do that once more. If you want to, you can close the eyes. Good. All right, you can keep the eyes closed or open them again if you would like to. And then you're just gonna be aware of your hands are they resting on your lap? Just be aware of it. Be aware of your feet. Feel the ground underneath your feet. Feel your body where it's sitting in contact with your chair. And be aware of the muscles in your shoulders, neck, and jaw. Do you have any tension or tightness there? you do, see if you can release that out with the exhale. Any tension in your face, arms, legs. Begin by becoming aware of it, and then release it out with the exhale. yourself be relaxed and comfortable. Good. All right. Let's go ahead and lengthen the spine so we're not relaxing against the back of the chair any longer. We're going to reach all the way up, stretching those fingers toward the ceiling and lean to the side. Beginning with some back stretches here, always in comfortable range of motion, and lean to the other side. Back to center. If it feels okay for you, stretch the shoulders back and down. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders front to back. Continue breathing deeply. And then a little bit bigger. Good. Floating the arms out to the 
side, always front to back, honey. Opening through the chest. And then just relax those shoulders down. Circle the wrist both directions. Continue breathing deeply. And then relax the arms down and shrug. And release all the way down. Let's do that again. Shrug up. And make sure you release all the way down. One more time. Shrug up and down. All right. Nodding the head up and down. As always, comfortable range of motion for the neck. If you have tightness there, just be gentle with it. And come back to center and turn just the head to look over the shoulder as far as you can. as far as you can. Then as we go back to the first side, we're going to add a little bit of rotation through the torso. So you're going to increase that range of motion. Look behind you if you can. And second side, same thing. Good. All right, from here, going into our cat-cow. So hands on the knees, round the back, tuck the chin down, and then flatten out the back, even slightly arch if it feels comfortable to you. Forearms to the legs. Now repeating each one. Rounding and flattening or arching the back. And rounding and flattening or arching. Good. Let's do that one more time. Round. And flat now. Let's hold here. Now head remains above the heart as always, but you can lean into that stretch a little bit more. And if you want, you can even just hug your legs. That should feel really good, really comfortable. If you'd rather just relax the arms down, that's fine too, but head above the heart. And then slowly roll all the way back up. Let's lean back against the chair now, and we're going to bring one knee up toward the chest so that we're stretching the glute, and with this, we're going to circle the ankle. Circle the other way. And then extend the leg forward and circle from the hip. Change direction. You can hold under the leg if you'd like to. switch to the other side. So starting with the glute stretch, knee up toward the chest, we're holding behind the leg and circling that ankle. Change direction. Now extend and circle from the hip again. You can hold under the leg if you'd like to. Change direction. Release that down, and now we're going to move just slightly forward in the chair. Lift the toes up. Let's start with our reach up again. Lengthening the spine, inhale, and exhale forward. So we're stretching the calves and hamstrings here. We're going to reach for those toes and lift the toes up towards the knees. Even if you need to bend the knees a little bit or a lot, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. If possible, grab your toes. If not, just reach as far as you can. Now, leaning forward just a little bit more. Again, head above the heart, keeping the chest lifted up. Giving yourself a nice hamstring and calf stretch there. And release the toes out, soles of the feet pressing down now. So we're stretching the front of the ankles. Make sure that you don't tighten up your feet and get a cramp in your feet. We're stretching the shins. Go ahead and roll back up, move back in our chair. All right, so starting with our figure four stretch. This is for the outer part of the glute, the piriformis area. Remember, if you cannot put your foot up on your other knee, the modification is just to cross the ankle. Otherwise, the exercise remains the same. If you're able to do it, go ahead and bring that foot up. 
the knee doesn't go, have to go down very far. It's up to your own range of motion. You're gonna start by lengthening the spine and hip hinging forward. So rather than rounding the back and the shoulders, we're just gonna keep the back flattened out and lean until you get that stretch in this outer thigh, outer glute area. And just breathe and slowly lower yourself into that stretch, as deep as you can. It's a really tight stretch for a lot of people, so just do what you can. Go ahead and wiggle your toes, just a little bonus there. And then come back up. All right, great job. Go ahead and step down. We're gonna do our kneeling lunge stretch. So I'd like for you to slide over to the side of your chair and bring that outside knee down towards the floor. You don't have to come all the way down if that's too far for you. Just go as far as you can. All right, so we're going for a stretch on the quadricep and the hip flexor. Now you can hang on with the other hand, but we're gonna reach up and over with that outside arm. So again, we're just adding that little back stretch there up the whole side of the body. And then rotating back, if you can, if this is comfortable for you, look up toward the ceiling and press the palm up. If that's a bit too much, just stay right where you are. Good, all right. Let's go ahead and come back to the center of the chair. We'll do our hip stretch for the other side. Oh, let's take a water break. Make sure that you're staying hydrated. Okay, so again, modification, ankles crossed over if you need to do that. Otherwise, go ahead and bring that foot all the way up. Sitting up tall, lengthening the spine. Again, this knee doesn't need to come down real far. And we're just leaning forward. Remember not to collapse forward with it. We're not gonna round the back of the shoulders. We're just gonna lean with the back flattened out until you get that comfortable stretch in the outer glute, outer thigh. Just relax into it. Remember to breathe. And see if you can slowly deepen into your stretch. Go ahead and wiggle those toes as well. And then come back up out of your stretch, step down, and let's slide over to the side. So doing our kneeling lunge stretch on this side. This is our quadricep and hip flexor stretch. Hang on with the other hand. That knee coming down towards the floor as far as you're comfortable going. You can always scoot the foot back further if you're not quite getting that stretch. And when you're ready, add the outside arm up and over. If it's comfortable for you, Rotate back slightly so you're looking up toward the ceiling and pressing your palm up. If that's a bit too much, just stay right where you are. Good. All right, let's go ahead and come back to center. Okay, so we're gonna do eagle pose. Now this one has several different variations that you can do with it. We're gonna be crossing the arms and the legs, and then after we get all done with that, we'll open everything back up again. Okay, so starting with this leg on top. Now, of course, again, if you prefer to just cross the ankle, you can do that. If you're okay with crossing the legs, go ahead and do so. There's an option to bring the foot back around behind the ankle. Again, that is an option. You don't have to do that part. Then for the arms, we're gonna start with the other arm on top. So you're crossing at the elbows. Then you can either hug, give yourself a hug if you want or touch the backs of the hands, or come back around and hook the thumbs. Now lengthen your spine and look up. Lift those elbows. This is your eagle pose, and this is a lot of stretch for those joints. So again, release out at any point if it feels uncomfortable to you. Breathing through it, and release out. Now remember which side you just did. We're gonna do the other side. So again, if you're not okay crossing the legs, just cross the ankles. If you're okay crossing the legs, go ahead and do so. Option to tuck the foot back around behind, crossing the ankles behind. Now remember, it's the opposite arm on top. So we're gonna start here, crossing the elbows. Option to give yourself a big old hug, or touch the backs of the hands, or come back around, hook the thumbs. Then we're gonna lengthen the spine, lift the elbows, look up. Remember to breathe, and if it's uncomfortable, you can unwrap yourself at any time. Good, go ahead and release 
piece out of that. All right, so let's move slightly forward in the chair. We're gonna take a hold of the back of the chair now. So as promised, we're gonna reopen the body, hands on the back of the chair, rotate the shoulders back, lift the chin, lift the chest, really open out through that. Breathing. Good, let's go ahead and do lower body now. So for this one, we're gonna do our inner thigh stretch. So step out wide. Again, we're gonna hip hinge, Forward. So we want to make sure that we're not collapsing forward, we're keeping the back lengthened out, head above the heart. If you want a little bit more stretch, you can lightly press on the legs to open a bit more. It's up to you. And then go ahead and add just a little bit of rotation here. You don't have to go all the way around. It should feel good. It should feel comfortable. And let's do the other side. Great job. Come back to center. All right, let's go ahead and step in. Let's hydrate if you haven't done that yet. Let me check our time real quick. Okay, we're doing great. So let's go ahead and come up to standing. Now you're still going to be using your chair for the standing exercises. It is always there for support or you can use a wall if you want to. Come over to one side of the chair and we are going to start with tree pose all right classic tree pose you're shifting your weight to the inside leg so remember that your weight distribution is over here shoulder hip ankle now for the non-standing leg open the hip as wide as you can as far as you're comfortable you have the option to keep the toes down or you can have your foot up higher just as long as it's not directly on the knee joint you can have it below or above the knee a lot of times i'll do that but for today i'm just going to stay down now we want to make sure on the standing leg that that ankle does not roll in so make sure that you're lifting up through the arch and the ankle keeping the body nice and tall if you feel okay with it you can let go of your chair again you can have that foot higher if you would like to it doesn't have to be down on the floor up to you. Now make sure that you are breathing. If you're thinking of all these other things, sometimes we concentrate and end up holding the breath. Good. Great job. Okay. Let's go ahead and shake those feet out. Now we're going to go into a split stance. So the outside foot is going to be forward. The inside foot is going to be to the rear, and we're going to turn it out just a little bit like so, just for a little bit more stability, and we're going to go into our warrior sequence here. So again, just comfortable position for that back leg. We're going to keep that back heel down and start by bending that front knee, reaching the outside arm up. If you're okay, let it go of your chair, inside arm as well, and looking up. So warrior one here. Make sure that you're breathing through it. You're still pressing down through that back heel, but weight is evenly distributed between your feet. And moving into warrior two. So rotating now, hands lifted up level with the shoulders, and then look towards your front hand. Make sure that you're not shrugging up. Shoulders are away from the ears. And now we're gonna straighten that front leg, reach that front hand down. Again, head above the heart, go as deep into it as you feel okay with. Other hand is reaching up toward the ceiling, add as much rotation as you would like to. Good, and slowly come back up. We don't wanna get dizzy or lightheaded, so we're gonna take it slow and reverse it. So now that back hand against the back leg, both legs are extended straight, front hand, Palms up, reaching toward that ceiling, really getting that stretch. And release it out. Great job. Let's shake out. We'll move over to the other side. All right, so beginning again with tree pose. We're shifting to the inside leg. Make sure that you're doing the other side from what you did the first time. Shoulder, hip, ankle. Non-standing leg, open the knee to the outside. And again, you have the option to have that foot up higher if you would like to. I'm gonna to keep toes down on the floor today. Make sure that you spread your 
toes out. If you're wearing shoes, spread them out as far as you can in your shoe, lifting through the arch and the ankle so that it doesn't collapse in, it doesn't pronate in. If you're okay with it, hands into center. Go ahead and use that chair as much as you need to. Make sure that you're breathing. Step down, shake those feet out. We're going to take that split stance again. Outside foot forward, inside foot is back. And you can turn that back foot out just slightly to increase your stability. You're going to keep that back heel down, bend your front knee, reach that outside arm up. Option to reach the other arm up as well. That warrior one pose, lifting the chest, looking up towards your hands. Weight is even between your feet. Shoulders back, chest up, hands up, looking towards your front hand without shrugging. Good. Let's go ahead and straighten that front leg. Head above the heart. We're going to reach that hand down towards the ankle. Back hand is reaching up again. Add as much rotation as you would like to. Look up if you would like to. And breathe. And we're slowly going to come back up. Make sure that we're not getting lightheaded. Reverse it. Back hand reaching down the back leg. Front hand reaching fingers up towards the ceiling. And release it out. Great job. All right, let's grab a quick sip of water here. We're going to do a warrior pose to standing mountain. All right, so coming in front of your chair, or if you need the support of your chair, go ahead and have it in front of you if you need it. Otherwise, go ahead and just stand in front of your chair. We're going to go out to a wide foot position this time. Toes out slightly, arms extended out, and bend the knee. and that just means being aware of your body in space. So we're going to just bring the hands out. Now, starting with the eyes open, we're going to touch each finger to the thumb one at a time. So pinky, ring, middle, index. Just keep doing that. Now I want you to continue, but close the eyes. Keep breathing through it. Fantastic. All right. So let's go back to the front of our chair now. We're going to do one more of those nice hamstring and calf stretches. So remember how we did it at the beginning. Slight to bigger knee bend as much as you need to. Try to reach the toes and then lean forward. 
and then let go of those toes, press the soles of the feet down. Slowly roll back up. All right, step back in. We're just gonna take the hands to the outside of one leg. Rotate and look over the shoulder. You're gonna see if you have more flexibility than you had at the beginning. And then do the same thing on the other side. Rotate, look over your shoulder. And come back to center. All right, just roll those shoulders front to back. We're going to keep the neck relaxed down. Continue breathing through it. And then let those shoulders come all the way down. Hands just resting on the lap. And bring your chin down towards your chest. Now from here, we're just drawing a half circle. So we're bringing the head so the chin is pointing towards one shoulder and then pointing towards the other shoulder. So you're doing the bottom half of the circle. As always, comfortable range of motion for your neck. You can do more or less if you prefer. And then pause down at the bottom. Press your shoulders all the way down. time for our final stretch. So lengthen your spine. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Great job, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you for doing the workout, doing the yoga, and the stretching with me. Remember, you can stay and do more meditation at the end if you'd like to do a little bit more of the breathing work that we did at the beginning and also the awareness, um, the body scan, which we did a little bit of at the beginning where you're aware of each of your body parts, any tension in it, releasing that tension out, deepening your breathing, all of those things that are so relaxing, getting that parasympathetic nervous system going to release any kind of tension or anxiety or stress. So go ahead and do as much of that as you would like. As always, remember that I have lots and lots and lots of videos of all the different formats. So we have cardio, strength training with a band, strength training with hand weights, we have balance work, we have just yoga, you know, all kinds of things you can check out. Go check out some of those videos, incorporate all those formats during your week, or go outside, take a walk. It's been really nice weather, nice spring weather, so feel free to do that. Just get your exercise in throughout the week. And thank you again for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and all of those good things, and I will see you.